Hi, and welcome to the podcast with your host, Rick. In keeping with their ethos of direct DIY music making, Carbon Silicon write and record in their West London studio. Practicing five hours a day, a four-piece band led by veteran punks Mick Jones and Tony James have been releasing their work on the internet for free over the last couple of years. While trying to keep the site fresh and up-to-date, the band regularly posts blogs for their fans to read while encouraging a healthy forum. CarbonSiliconInc.com also allows fans to buy t-shirts and their two pay for album, Carbon Casino, and The Last Post. Along with the online shop and blog, the site also features a full gallery of artwork and photographs from the studio and their live gigs. Currently, the pair are in Paris doing press interviews for French Rolling Stone and even French Elle magazine about their limited edition release of a Carbon Casino and Last Post combined album. Carbon Silicon use the blog as a direct style of communication with their fans. Each blog entry reads refreshingly honest, with musings on age, inspiration, and a touch of psychoanalysis writing up the read. Carbon Silicon has no press manager for a label clearing up their words, and they're clearly better for it. The band are keen to embrace the internet and what it means for making and promoting music. Their first release of the last post-album instructed owners to put it online. When questioned about this, Tony James replied, Most people, when they get it, are going to rip it and start posting it on the web. Why don't we just come out and say that? Carbon Silicon's model of releasing tracks initially for free on their website and then selecting and in some cases remixing them as a paid-for download six or eight months later is something that the band is proud of. Keeping with their punk roots, Carbon Silicon want primarily for the music to be heard and not kept back by copyright. In his blog, Tony James says, There's a generation of kids out there who have grown up with the tools of music copying and downloading all their lives. They think it's bizarre, inconceivable even, to pay for it. In this time of change for the music industry, Carbon Silicon are using the internet to communicate directly with the fans and provide what they all want, access to the band and their music. I just hope the kids are doing it themselves and are downloading and listening to Carbon Silicon. Thanks again for listening.